The Ghana Exim Bank was established to support the government's quest for a feasible and sustainable export-led economy. Officials of the bank appeared before the Public Accounts Committee to respond to queries captured in the 2017 Auditor General's report. MP for Kumbungu Ras Mubarak raised a public interest question alleging the payment of 2 million Ghana CDs to artist Shatawali for his role as a brand ambassador. Deputy CEO for the bank, Kwame Edu Dakwa, denied the allegations. As it stands now, what we've done is um, from, the, um, from, the, um, from the corporate affairs perspective is to engage a, um, uh, a media consultant to help us um, promote Made in Ghana. That's what, that's, what, that's what we're doing. Now, um, the consultant, whether he's choosing music or football or, or rugby, um, that is, that is um, a strategy that the consultant will be using. But in terms of Ghana Exim Bank, what we have done to promote, um, to promote is to promote our own, um, our own uh, Made in Ghana product. Which is brilliant. And in promoting Made in Ghana, you know, you have very good artists, Nanam Pedu, Kojoentri, you know, Nakorex, you name them. In this instance, you gave money to Shatawale. Honorable um, Chairman, no, not at all. As far as I'm concerned, it is a media campaign that we're running with a consultant. Thank you. So the, the consultant hasn't given, or uh, your institution, Ghana Exim, hasn't issued a check of two million Ghana cities to Shatawale. Honorable, wait, wait, Isaac. Honorable Chairman, um, I can confirm that um, as Deputy CEO Finance of Exim Bank, I have not signed or have not seen a check signed for $2 million or $2 million cities to, um, to any artist that you might have mentioned. The Chairman of the Committee, James Klucha Veji, before discharging the Exim Bank team, indicated that the officials will be recalled to provide details. We'll, 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 we'll work on that and then we'll call you again to appear. Thank if, you, Mr. We, we will have the, the, um, the details. The details. Still at the Public Accounts Committee hearing, the Minister of Transport, Kweko Furiesiam, after leading a number of agencies under his ministry to the committee, told the media that government is not threatened by the manifesto promise to legalize the operation of commercial motorcycle riders. We, as a government, know that this is a, this is a matter that we need to take our time, consult the people, come out with the views. Then it will determine the law that we need to put in place. Because laws are made to be changed because they are not static. If we think that I don't want to we need to amend certain law to take cognizance of the day or the time, we do so. If we think that we need to still need to implement what is there, it depends on the people that we consult, it depends on what you think that is at stake. You, you do it. So I would not want to be part of the people who are being say that President John Daman in Miami has said this or this, and for that matter, come and tell us your position. Mm -hmm. I don't think that we are compared with the, if your money man say, hey, they will come and say that we come and challenge him. No, I don't, I don't, we don't do things like that. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. I think that the media should also, I will plead with you, to let us learn some of these matters. The, the, the idea of somebody has said this, or come and say this, or somebody, I don't, I don't think that this is the way we, we should have some of these matters. I think that what is important to us, let's take decisions. Let's come out with programs and policy which will benefit the people of this country. And for me, that is a good